and welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube who's watching this video later on for some Jeskai Hero. Sorry, we have this donation deck that we didn't get to last night. We had it on the schedule yesterday, but didn't quite get to it because our three decks that we played yesterday took a long time to play. There were some really long leaks. So we're playing it today. So this is a, another Hero of Precinct 1 deck, but unlike Esper Hero, which is um, kind of like a control deck that has Hero of Precinct 1 as like a finisher that can make a lot of 1-1s, this version is going to be a lot more aggressive. We have uh, the Sky Knight Vanguard, which loves to attack. Same with uh, Vindicator, Tajik with the Haste. And then, uh, of course, our Heroic Reinforcements, you know, whenever we're going wide with Hero of Precinct 1, pumps up all of our creatures, gives them haste, um, finishes games off quickly. So we're being a lot more aggressive here with this Hero of Precinct 1. We still have, we have History Banalia, even though it doesn't trigger Hero, it's just a really strong card that works really well with her Heroic Reinforcements. And History Banalia does work really well with, with Little Teferi. You know, like you can, you can play it, make a couple of Knights, bounce it with Teferi before that third chapter, so you can replay it, make some more Knights, and continue on like that. Like those two are a pretty good combination. Um, you can also Deputy of Detention your own History Banalia also. That's something you can do. Um, just saying we'll we'll see if it comes to that but yeah so like we're, we're trying to go wide here and uh i think heroic reinforcements is going to frequently be one of our best cards uh we got response resurgence that can give us an additional attack phase with the, res the with the resurgence part or be a little bit of a removal spell with response but i think that we're really playing that more for the resurgence aspect of the card here and speaking of additional main phases, we also have Chance for Glory. This is a card you don't play too often, but um, you know you get that extra turn, but you got to win the game that extra turn. <laughs> so, you know, this is the kind of card that if you're ahead and your opponent's about to combo off, getting that extra turn can you know be the difference between winning and losing. So this is a pretty interesting one right here. Um, so have you thought about playing Spell Heavy Jeskai Hero with Kaikar? I haven't really thought about that. No, that wasn't... I actually hadn't... We, we played a Spell Heavy Jeskai Kaikar deck the other day. If you didn't see that one, check that out on the YouTube channel. Um, that was that was a really good uh, video that we played the other day with Kaikar. But it didn't have Hero of Precinct 1 there. Yeah, tomorrow I'm going to be doing post-rotation decks. It's rotation-proof Monday tomorrow. Um... Again, also on the YouTube channel there, though, there's there's a lot. Um, Yon, Yondrock, I'd recommend checking out the channel there. There's a playlist on there that has all of my rotation-proof decks. I've been doing that for about a month or so. We've already had, like, 13, 15, something like that, decks of rotation-proof decks. Anyway, let's go ahead and get to our deck. With donation decks, as you all know, we like to play a league and see how many wins we can get if we can get to the five wins before two losses so that's what we're going to do here try to grow our gold also we're almost to a hundred thousand gold preparing for throne of eldraine for buying lots of packs there oh that's that's you're correct so i'm sorry if you're watching this on youtube and you're yelling at your screen <laughs> You cannot deputy your own enchantment. Deputy is only opponent's control, so you cannot deputy your own hero, Precinct 1. I didn't think I was really going to be doing that anyway, but we can bounce it with the fairy, so we're good there. Um, we have Sky Knight on 2. Like, Sky Knight Tajik is a really nice curve. Let's, let's give this a try. <clears throat> Alright, yeah, good. The pre-order for... Okay, yeah, Ken does he already answered that. Um, yeah, the, the pre-order for Throne of Eldraine, you get 50 packs. That's what you get. And, yeah, Valiant says, looking at the list, the Swift the Swift Blade Vindicator looks like a, the weaker card and may prefer burn spells instead. Yeah, we'll have to see how that performs. No, Chance for Glory basically doesn't see any play. <laughs> so actually, no, it's not uh, It's not a card that you see get played very often. Because, yeah, it does It does give you that extra attack step, but... Um, but 
but while it, it does do that, you know, you, you lose the game, you know, the next turn, and so that's a pretty big downside. You have to win the game the next turn, so it's only playable if it wins the game. So there's just many, many games where you don't actually get to cast it. All right, hoping to draw blue mana. Okay. So I think this is lethal, right? So because the creatures you you control gain indestructible, so I can okay. So I I cast so I attack out. They block the two twos. They take one damage. Go to seven. I I cast chance for glory. Um, we untap. We get the third history. So these turn into four. We deputy this thing, and then they take they block a four power. They take four, five, six, seven. So yeah, we have lethal here. That's a pretty cool animation. Chance for glory doing its thing. Boom. We 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 did it. We really did it. That was like my first time casting Chance for Glory. And we did it. It lo looks like a lovely Takali Honor Guard matchup. Disdainful Stroke. <clears throat> Seems not so bad either. I guess I should take out Deputy Detention if I'm bringing in Honor Guards. I guess that's the trade-off there. No, Hero's definitely not out. I think we're taking out Deputy so we can bring in Honor Guard. And... I think I want Disdainful Stroke instead of something. Yeah, I mean, I definitely want Disdainful Strokes. Instead of Lightning Strike? Instead of Vindicator, I am going to take out the Vindicators. Let's try this. <laughs> thanks, thanks, Lord. That's a good, that's good advice there. If you are playing Chance for Glory, you know it is an instant, but do not cast it on your opponent on your opponent's turn, because then you you die. Um, Right away. Or you die on your own turn. So not like right away, but so your next own turn. You don't get two turns. No. I was relying on that honor guard to stop this Risen Reef. Ooh, no Risen Reef. Wow. 
Wow, our opponent's really rude. Oh, we got the sound bug back. All right, I'll try to remember to uh, reset. All right, well this this game went perfect for them. Game went perfect for them. Ugh. So I want to draw a disdainful stroke. That's that's our best to draw step. Why do they just want me to keep the two red red white lands? Like that would be the thing to do. If you show remorse. I'll shoot. Trust me. Disdainful stroke. Oh, no, more lands. And so nice to counter that thing on the way back. Why are they putting the counter on Leafkin Druid? Oh, they can just kill Aurelia. That's nice. Good job, Storm. Just won a game with Parhelion too. Awesome. Only time yeah, that's why I took I took Deputy out because yeah, because of the honor guard Nambo. And I mean I really don't think it's that good here. I mean it's okay, but as we see they have a lot of removal. You know, like taking a, a cavalier or a risen reef and then they kill your deputy and then they get it back and get the triggers again. Like like basically these creatures with these ETB effects. It's not great to take them anyway. They have like they're gonna kill deputy detention. It's the problem with deputy detention. It it dies and they get another trigger. It's really not valuable. I should probably play these lava coils. I don't know, everything just lined up for them there. I mean, Lava Coil is better than Lightning Strike. I wish I had a way to protect Honor Guard. I don't. I wish I did, though. What about Mentor of the Meek? Maybe they're sitting back and just trying to kill stuff. Maybe I'm supposed to be playing this and drawing cards.
we're yeah, we're not really trying to kill Cavalier. We're trying to go wide. That's what our deck can do. Killing Cavalier is really difficult. Going wide is less difficult. <laughs> yeah, our opponent needs to not draw the nuts this next game. Consider playing Teferi so they couldn't instant speed stuff to respond. But I think it's actually better just to play Tajik, get the damage in. Um, Exactly. You know, this is just like how game one went. That's what we want. Drawing more heroic reinforcements would be great. If they just play Cavalier here, we bounce it. We bounce that thing. Behold, nature's true power. So I think they probably have a negate. What would I rather them negate? I guess I'd rather them negate Lava Coil than Teferi, because we get to draw a card with Teferi. No negate. Well, that's pretty good for us. I am not going to sit this one. Hmm. I know we're attacking our opponent for seven. If I tick up to fairy, like if I minus to fairy dies to Nissa. If I tick up, it doesn't. But then, still a hit on Teferi, we don't get to minus next turn. So I think we, we just minus this turn. Like it. And now, you know, like so much... You know, it's so much stuff kills my opponent. It makes, it, makes it difficult for them to stabilize. You can't bounce Nissa. You can't bounce Planeswalkers. You can only bounce... Artifacts, creatures, enchantments. That's it. I know it's not. Doesn't sound like very much, but that's it there. Yeah, we have lightning strike for direct damage. We have um, the heroic reinforcements for extra haste creatures. Well, that hurt. That was a great turn for them to have, like, you know, the, exactly six mana. You know, have the stomping ground. The two mana removal plus two blockers. That really hurt. But now they still have to have removal for the flyer, which they do not. So we're good. Such a close game. Barely got there, but we got there. I guess they, 
they were going to be in a real, if they don't kill, all right, so yeah, so yeah, so why didn't the, so you're saying why didn't they fry Vanguard? Because if they fry Vanguard, the damage gets prevented because Tajik says prevent all dam non-combat damage to your other creatures. So they would have been in a really tough spot if they would have tried to fry the other creature. Because, yeah, Tajik doesn't let you deal damage to other stuff. Island Sparring Construct. This is a card I haven't seen in Standard. In some time. Yeah, it looks like mono blue artifacts. Maybe we see a steel overseer here. So vindicate. I mean, we could attack with vindicator or trade with conjurant. I don't know. Would it if damage would be dealt to it while it has a one one counter on it? Prevent that damage and remove that many counters. So it would, first strike would happen, it would turn it into one power. Yeah, they would trade. But yeah, one to save Vindicator. They want a Aurelia Vindicator. We'll see if they're playing counter magic. No. Get that need to really a trigger. Vindicator has been unsummoned. Arn. I will defend my ally. My grief fuels my mission. So do I go with heroic reinforcements right here? Or do I go Vindicator to Fairy? I mean Honestly getting this Vindicator in play is probably really good. I want to be able to attack with Vindicator next turn. I've got it. Because Vindicator will do so much damage to them next turn. There are greater battles. We can have Aurelia pump it up to three. Heroic Reinforcements pumps up to four. So it's like eight power. Trample. First strike, double strike, quadruple strike. All that stuff. I like our chances here. Let's run it back. Yeah, I didn't even get to see the heroic reinforcements. Our best card.
Didn't even get to see it. Karn tutored that Mystic Forge that they played there. That's what Karn tutored. Ugh. Stretch. Ooh, got a new Dick Sporting Goods bounty that just popped up. We'll be doing that after this league. Swift Blade Vindicator, I believe, is a soldier. Yes, human soldier. human soldier all right so this looks like what my opponent wants to be doing you know the one drop and then renowned weaponsmith is a pretty awesome two drop then they can add a good amount of mana They're, they're getting aggro over here. Look at that synergy. End step, untap. End step, untap that sparring construct. All right, didn't look like they actually had anything expensive to play with the Weaponsmith, though. So th whenever this dies, they put a counter on a creature they control. Yeah, it's fine. No, they're not really a combo deck. They're just playing a bunch of artifacts and stuff, like with Mystic Forge. Hey, Spectre. Welcome to the channel. Hmm. I don't even want to take these Voltaic Servants. Yeah, they're probably, yeah, probably Steel Overseering. Yeah, it's, it's got to be Steel Overseer. Especially with Karn's Bastion and everything. Oh, well, thank you so much, Spectre. Well, thank you. There's the Vindicator. Hmm. We don't have any, like really great thing to be doing here, but don't really have anything bad to be doing. 
either. I'm just gonna exile this thing. You know, if Deputy dies, they get that back, but it's... Um, you know, <clears throat> it'll enter in as a zero, zero. So it'll be gone. Really understand these attacks and everything. Just making the easy blocks. I think my don't really know what's going on here. My opponent just keeps on attacking in with one threes. All right, we're two zero. I think our opponent's probably a little newer, and hopefully they're, you know, learning everything. Hopefully they're learning. They see, like, those double blocks, and, you know, next you know, next time they'll be like, okay, I don't have a good attack, because my opponent can just double block like this, and that's not a good idea to attack. All right, back to land worlds. All right, we need lands. Got any real estate businesses coming up on the highway here? We could use a real estate purchase. Double blocking is a rookie trap. Fell for a two back in the day. Had to learn the hard way. I could see that. I have yeah. Nico Last few times we played Ragnar Sagro, we did really well like that. You. you know, yeah, a bunch of four ones and today, oh three today. That's, that's magic. We're fit enough to survive. So we first need to take Vivian with Deputy, and then after taking Vivian, then we'll need to take, like, Pulp Collector. And then after that, we have to hope we're not dead by this time also. Then we'll have to take something else. Like that thing. Yeah, magic is incredibly complicated. That is true. We're gonna tear you apart. I'm going to try some Lyra Dawnbringers. Maybe instead of those two cards. Yeah, instead of those two. Thanks, Blood Wolf. Maybe we'll draw the land this time. It says, while well, going 0-3 with the Rakdos feels bad, but I think the video will show how having game knowledge can really play a big part in making good versus bad choices. Good. Yeah, that's what I hope so.
Hooray! We drew a land. Drew the land. People said it couldn't be done, but we did it. Land has been drawn. Trust me, you'll thank me later. No, I am not making this up as I go. And this, yeah, this is our first time having Hero. So yeah, basically time walk our opponent with playing the Teferi there. Here goes nothing. No attacks. And for them to keep the bark hide activation up, they don't get to ca they don't get to tap Civilization out. Civilization has crept too far. Tear it down. Yeah, I haven't really. No, I haven't really considered that one, Moxie. I never really got into that deck. Uh, never really played with or against that deck too much. The <laughs> five color Lich's mastery. Stomping time. So I don't know. I don't know the most about that deck. I'm not the, the best informed about it. And Here we go. Yeah. I didn't really have to show them Sky Knight Vanguard. I should be playing Lava Coils, but I don't really know what to play them over. Do I want to... I don't really know what to play them over. I mean, I guess maybe it is just Vindicator here on the draw. Yeah, it probably is. On the play, we can be a little more aggressive. Try to get those Vindicators. Oh yeah, Viv yeah, Vivian's removal. Yeah, our opponent has removal. They have Vivian, they have Voracious Hydra. So they're gonna have some removal. I don't, this is my first time doing the early start on Sunday. But I've really liked it. I may may do this for a little while, This are the early start Sundays. What have y'all thought about the, the early start Sundays? Yeah, I started I started two hours early today. Uh, help out people. Over in Europe and everything. Um, And there's no, you know, no work. Don't really have to wait for people getting off work on Sunday as much. Okay, yeah, it's better for you too. You just didn't know, yeah. I, yeah, we we talked about it. Basically, we kind of decided at the the end of the stream last night, and then um, and then I announced it in the the Discord channel announcements. If you all aren't a part of the Discord channel, that's for everybody. Lots of different rooms in there. Uh, it's, you know, just the group for everybody there, like, where you can, uh, you know, we have the Throne of Eldraine spoilers room. We got, like, where you can put, like, your your brews and everything there. You know, if you ever have questions, like, for help, if, if you're like, hey, here's my deck I'm struggling against, whatever, um, or anything like that. Um, just, you know, that's where the community hangs out and everything. 
So yeah, feel free to join the Discord group. That's for everyone. I think I just go history. I can't think of any reason not to attack. Like any like flash creature that they're gonna that they're actually gonna be playing in their deck. So we're attacking. This is a three mana walker looks really strong. Both three mana walkers from the next set look really strong. TBH. So I think Vrasco Golgari Queen could be a good place to be with like the new three mana walkers. Then you still have Gideon, Chandra, Teferi. You still have a lot of good three mana walkers that are staying around. It seems like three mana is like really where they're pushing these planeswalkers. So Vrasco Golgari Queen being able to be a four mana planeswalker that eats the three mana ones feels like a good place to be. That, that could be a card. If you're looking for a card that could potentially, you know, I don't, don't know if it will or not, but could potentially spike after rotation. Gol Rascal Golgari Queen's a good... Um, a good candidate there. So if I Heroic Reinforcements, these things turn into 5 power. Uh, you know, one just gets eaten by Null Hide. They just take the other one. So basically not spectacular for us. So let's just go ahead and get our Angel Tribal deck going. Surprise Angel Tribal. And Vraska seems to fit the curve really well in like a Soul Tie deck. Also, with, you know, Gilded Goose, Oko, you know, Risen, you know, and then, you know, your Risen Reef, your Rock, Cavalier, all that kind of stuff. Raska fits the curve really well. I think I can just chump block. I don't know, I, how am I actually losing from eight? I don't know. They don't have the mana to cast Vivian right now. They'd have to have a, another land for Vivian because of the Null Hide. And from... I didn't see the, the announcement myself. But I was told that I'll protect you. Uh, Mark Rosewater said there's no, like the there is the rare land cycle. There's always a rare land cycle in the fall set, but the rare land cycle this time is not dual lands. That they're not dual lands, and so if that's the case, if that's the case, then the the three color combinations that you want to be are the the cons, because those are the ones that have the two sets of temples. So Sol that is Soltai. Soltai has Temple of Mystery and Temple of uh, Malady. All right, Jeskai Heroes 3-0. Had a... Had a... Had some good draws there. Curving out, four mana angel, five mana angel. It's a good curve out against the green deck. 
Well, Storm, we don't know hardly anything from Eldraine. Oh, but just just like the fairy tale stuff. I got gotcha. you. Yeah, we we don't know hardly anything about the cards. I was I was initially like really um, unimpressed. Yeah, Ferion, I could probably yeah I could probably do that. I was initially really unimpressed with um, with Throne of Eldraine. Also, I was like looking at like all the rares that that they have, you know, up on like Mythic Spoiler, and I was like, man, so many of these rares are they're not good for standard. Like basically all of them. And then I, it took me like the, till like the next day until I realized, you know, going back looking at them again, until I realized that they're all like the brawl rares. Um, you know, they're all from the brawl decks. They're not actually from the set. We've seen like hardly any actual rares from the actual set. That's that's our deckless command if it wasn't updated before. Candace with another donation dex. Naya Feather, Friday, the 13th, 4th slot. All right. Thanks, Candace. We got a donation deck for Friday, 4th slot. We're playing Naya Feather. So yeah, so basically it is way too soon to see. So I was I was initially really disappointed by the rares and and now you know I realize that those were from the brawl decks, not like the actual cards. So it's so the the actual like rares and mythics we've seen from the set look look good. You know we've seen like Gilda Goose and the three mana walkers. Those cards actually look good. There's a mono black card that pings. Do you think it seems like the best card? I'm gonna block. Yeah, I'm not sure. Not sure about that card. I'm just not sure what that card is. All right, so they're gonna have one more turn here. We can't just chance for glory yet. Now this next turn, I think we probably can, like depending on what they do. So depending on what they do, we may be able to. Chance for glory reinforcements. Darn. I was hoping we got to steal one more turn with a, with a no steamkins over there. Sir Conrad. Okay, yeah, that card. I don't. Okay, that five mana creature. I don't think that that card's strong enough for standard at five mana. It does. It can do like. It can do a lot of pinging, but I still, still not sold. That card's good enough for standard. If I just cast reinforcements, they're dead, right? I mean, it, it's just free to cast Chance for Glory first, though. Yeah, I mean, there's just there's no reason not to can't to cast this first. I mean, they could have shock on top, which would which would mean heroic re reinforcements is not lethal if they had shock on top. So we gave them like more opportunity to cast shock. They're not casting it. There we go. So
So Dawnbringer, Clarion, Coil. Deputy Detention was really good for us there, but it's never going to be good again. Like that was a that was a um, an anomaly. How they just only had a couple. Like they mulliganed pretty hard. Just had a couple of Steamkins there. Just ran out of spells. It's not usually going to actually be good. Um, Vindicator is really rough against Chain Whirler. Yeah, Honor Guard is good against Viashino and Chain Whirler, especially if we're going with Hero. But I'm not even sure if I really... I mean, it blocks and everything too, though. I think this is what I'm going to do. Yeah. Looks good. Um. Yeah, I think the new Is It Planeswalker would fit really well in this deck. A uh, chain whirler is is rotating out just like Ferocidon, so there is no. Or if you're if you're just talking about like okay for like right now, I think you still play the four. If you're playing mono red, you should still be playing four chain whirler, and then probably like two, maybe like two Ferocidon main two in the sideboard, but you still play all four chain whirlers. The more burn spells they use on the creatures, these little creatures, the, the less they have for my big angels. I would like to see a fry get cast on that thing. You know, I want their fries out of their hands. Good, no light up the stage, that's good. Wizards lightning me. I, I'll take it. get these lands our poor angels but my opponent's saying the same thing they're not drawing their lands either I've learned a bunch of new burn spells to try on you study focus I just want to burn stuff already All right, so Tajik is good protection for the angels. I also, don't have enough swears right now. Hey, Tasty. Advice for a noob: I would recommend going through the level one course that's written there. I know, but some of the references are old, but you know, it describes everything well. Um, yeah, I'd recommend going through 
that course there and <clears throat> it's a great place to learn. Yeah, we're just playing Boros Aggro. <laughs> Just playing Boris Aggro over here. So they had a second Daredevil. Like the first one, they just exiled my lightning strike and they didn't need to. You don't you don't need to. They just have all Daredevils. All right, so that is the tough wall of first strikes. We can't really get through the wall of first strikes on the ground. Because double blocking with first strike creatures means that it's going to be really hard to get through with those. But <clears throat> the good news is we don't need to get through to the ground. We got an aerial, an aerial assault here. And that should be game. Well, final boss time. All right, final boss playlist. Here we go. So just a little reminder, after this league, which could be after this match, when I, I'll do, you know, like the wrap up for YouTube. And then right after that, I'm going to be doing a bounty for um, Dick Sporting Goods, which is like a, a the bounties on Twitch are like little paid advertisements. Um, it's But it's based on how many viewers are in here is my payout. So I'd really appreciate if y'all don't go away. right after the league for just a little bit. It's a 15 second thing. And then I have four bullets to say. So it's, it's just a one minute. It's a total of one minute. And that's it. So real quick. So please stick around. All right, we got heroic reinforcements doubled up. I like to see that. The card's really strong. All right, so playing against Feather. It's usually better to have like other pressure already in play doing stuff and then cast heroic reinforcements and not necessarily like your very first card to play to attack the opponent I think the new cards I think the new cards that have buffs based on number of opponents those I think those are brawl cards for the most part I think. So they certainly do not have God's willing. They are willing to tap out like that. It's kind of expected that my opponent's going to kill the deputy at attention instant speed. So they can block with it. Block with the feather. Um, other option could be they concede the match. Or concede the game, I guess. Okay, we got we got one.
I feel like this is a bad matchup for us, but I feel like our opponent's hand was really bad. Also. Other things, I'm not sure if, what sideboard cards we want. Maybe these Dawnbringers do something. Maybe they get fried. Who knows? Hmm. All right, game number two. Yeah, Teferi is a great card in this matchup. That's a good point. Keep them from God's willing. Yeah, Feather kind of is the new mono blue. Teferi makes gods unwilling. Well, we got a heck of a curve here. You know, it's basically how good's our opponent's hand. Does our opponent's hand beat Hero into Tajik into Aurelia into Lyra? Um, you know, basically like like that kind of thing. How much removal do they have? Because I don't have interaction for them, so it's just I'm I'm gonna throw my cards out here. This is my curve. Can you beat it? Or are you going to lose? What do you have? Alright. That's a pretty bad turn for me. Double shock. Well, it was better than Reckless Rage, though. So, yeah, it was not the worst turn we could have. If they had double Reckless Rage. That would have been worse for us, for sure. It's odd. Odd use of a God's Willing. Turning a valuable card like that into a, a Scry one twice. Turning that into Scry one, then Scry one again. I have to hope they cannot pump the Dreadhorde Arcanist power. They can pump the Arcanist power. Then they get to fry again. Then I'm in a lot of trouble. I could play Aurelia first to test that. But it really doesn't really block anyway, and if, if they have that. <sighs> Dang. So close. Just need them to not have a pump power card. Which. To be fair, that's not very many cards in their deck. That's like De Defiant Strike, which they never played previously, and then that card, the, you know, like the one one of Gird for Battle. So there's like, you know, like five, maybe six total cards. Yes, yeah, so they they had a really good hand. Lots of removal, you know, shock, shock, fry, fry. They got to kill all my stuff.
Alright, well, we got another really good curve. And we got a removal spell this time. I could have just got Teferi in play and ticked up. And I was certainly considering that, but then drawing the second history, going history into history is really nice. All right, so the problem with attacking Yeah, I mean, I should just be going history into history into heroic reinforcements. The problem with attacking is then our creature dies to Defiant Strike. They go to Defiant Strike, pay for life. I don't think it's worth the risk whenever we have two histories coming off here and they're going to be four threes. Yeah, we could bounce history with Teferi. Go, yeah, oops, all histories. Ah, it looked like they did have that Defiant Strike. Speaking of that card. So good no attack. Wow. Well, I mean, playing playing Teferi and bouncing 10th District Legionnaire is nice, but heroic reinforcements means they are kind of dead. Means they're kind of dead. Dead-ish. That's still taking 14. All right, that's taking 17. All right, I think we found out that History Banalia into History Banalia into Heroic Reinforcements is really strong. Yeah, we started the stream two hours early today. Yeah, I started the stream a couple hours early. <laughs> what a way to end it. No, let us cast our heroic reinforcements. Oh, that was going to be brutal. That was going to be brutal. So there we go. That's the 5-0. That's the 5-0. That's the 5-0. So it was a great league for our Jeskai hero deck. But honestly, I, to, to be completely honest about the deck, I don't think our deck is, is as good as what that league made it look. Um, we had some really good draws. Uh, but uh, I think our strongest card, like I thought, our strongest card is Heroic Reinforcements. This card is really, really good. This card is awesome. We did get that, that one win with Chance for Glory against the Elemental deck. That game three win, Chance for Glory, was was really nice for us. But besides that, I'm not really in love with that card. These two drops aren't very aren't like the strongest, Vanguard and Vindicator. Neither one was particularly great for us. But Hero, Tajik, History, Heroic Reinforcements, Aurelia stole a lot of games. Aurelia with Lyra in the sideboard was really nice. Um, I think. Okay, yeah, comparing it to the other versions, Esper, Esper is just a lot better deck overall. Like, Esper, like, consistently over time is going to win a lot more than, than this deck will. But this deck, you know, you can surprise some people, and you can get some, you know, some, some nutty hands like we've seen there. 
Yeah, I think I think our opponents what they were doing were was kind of underpowered overall, like with this league. Um, that's that was something that I I did kind of feel like, and so I felt like we uh, had some good good success with this league here. Um, uh, so yeah, so that's why I I, I kind of felt that. Um, with Naya Hero, I think this is kind of similar to Naya Hero, just in general. Honestly, Naya maybe should be playing Heroic Reinforcements too. This is just a really, really strong card. And um, yeah, really liked this card here. But anyway, that's a Jeskai, Jeskai Hero. Uh, oh, sideboard-wise, I don't like Mentor of the Meek. I'd much rather have a, a Planeswalker. Um, the Honor Guards... They they didn't look great. Maybe those could be, maybe be more impactful. I think the best matchup that those can be are against the uh, <clears throat> the Risen Reef decks. But uh, we saw with that that matchup, they just always killed our Honor Guards. Then we didn't really get to play Deputy also. So I think the Honor Guards and the Mentor of the Meek, I think those could be upgraded to be better cards. There. But anyway, that's Jeskai Hero. So again, if you're watching this video later on YouTube, yeah, Gideon's. I think Gideon's could be a good sideboard card. Uh, don't forget to hit the like and subscribe buttons over there. Um, yeah, that was a that was a fast five wins. Um, but uh, yeah, that's Jeskai Hero. Oh, leave some comments too. I always like seeing the comments down in the YouTube channel. So leave some comments down there too. But thanks for watching some Jeskai Hero, and I'll see you for the next video.